What's up everybody, welcome to another video. Hope you're ready to flex those brain muscles. In this video, we're gonna practice proving that a relation is an equivalence relation. So if you're brand new to equivalence relations, I made a nice introduction, it'll pop up above right now. But if you're ready to start proving, then let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're gonna look at an example. And what we're actually gonna notice through this example is that all of these proofs have sort of the same structure, right? Because when we're trying to show that a relation is an equivalence relation, we're trying to show that it's reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. And that's essentially how every proof is. We show that the relation satisfies each of those three properties. So let's look at this example. We have a relation defined on the set of integers by X is related to Y if and only if X plus three Y is even. Okay, so this is our relation. And we wanna prove that this relation is an equivalence relation. So again, we wanna prove reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. So let's start with reflexive, and let's just recall what exactly this reflexive means. And I remember this by thinking about reflection because A is sort of reflecting, right? We have that A on both sides, but we have A is related to A. For every A, right, every element that the relation, in the set the relation is defined on. So in this case, in the set of integers, okay? So we're trying to show that A is related to A for every single A in the set of integers. So how can we actually prove that? Well, we can start with an arbitrary integer, right? Just let A be an integer. So this is actually the proof now. So maybe I should write that here, proof, PF, right? This was just recalling the definition. Now we're starting the proof. So let A be an arbitrary integer. What do we want to show about this integer? Well, we want to show that it's related to itself in this relation. Right? So what, is, what does it mean for A to be related to itself? Well, that means that A plus 3A is even. That's what would have to happen, right? So really what we wanna show from here is that A plus 3A is even. And then we, from that, we can conclude by the definition of this relation that A is related to A. So we want to show, let's write that out. We want to show that A is related to A. In other words, we want to show that A plus 3a is even. So what does it mean for an integer to be even, okay? Well, to be even, it means it could be written as two times an integer. So that's what we want to show about this, which actually isn't too difficult. We can actually probably do it in one line. Since a plus 3a equals, we can just combine some like terms here, 4a, which equals two times 2a where 2a is an integer, since a is an integer, right? If we take any integer and multiply by two, we still get an integer, so 2a is an integer. So what does this show? Since a plus 3a equals 4a, which equals two times 2a, where 2a is an integer, we know that a plus 3a is even. a plus 3a is even. Therefore, A is related to A. Hopefully everyone sees the structure. This is essentially what we're gonna do anytime we're trying to prove a relation is reflexive. We're gonna start with an arbitrary element in the set that the relation is defined on, and we're gonna to try to show that that element is related to itself, which is gonna be a little different depending on how the relation is defined. In this case, that meant that we wanted to show that A plus 3A was even, which we did pretty easily in a line, a line and a half. All right, let's see if we can prove that the relation is symmetric now that we've shown that it's reflexive. So recall that symmetric means that if A is related to B, then B is related to A. And this is true for every A and B in this set of integers. So we have this sort of symmetry going on here, right? So how are we gonna show that this relation is symmetric? Well, this is a nice conditional statement. So we're gonna use the direct proof method where we assume that the if statement is true and try to show that that guarantees that the then statement is also true, okay? Direct proof method. So suppose that A is related to B. Suppose A is related to B. So what exactly does it mean for A to be related to B? Well, that means that A plus three times B is even. So, a plus three times B is even. 
And what does it mean for that to be even? Well, it means we can write that as two times an integer, right? So a plus 3b equals, let's just call it 2k, where k is just some integer, okay? So that's what we got so far, just directly from our assumption, as well as how this relation is defined. So now let's think about what are we trying to show? Super important we think about what we're trying to show because we may have to do some scratch work, right? So maybe we'll do what we want to show off here to the side, okay? So I'll do a little box here for what we want to show, right? Because we want to assume that A is related to B and we want to show that B is related to A. And let's think about what this means. So we want to show that B is related to A. In other words, we want to show that B plus 3A is even. B plus 3A is even, right? In other words, that B plus 3A equals two, let's see, I already used K, so I'll use L, right? Two times an integer, L is just some random integer. So now we gotta think about how can we use this equation to show that b plus 3a equals two times an integer. And that's where our scratch work comes in. You can pull out an extra piece of paper, manipulate this, play around with this. So if you wanna pause the video and try that and see if you can get from this to this. And remember that l isn't going to literally be l, it's gonna be just some integer. That's all it has to be. So here's what I did. I did a little scratch work and I noticed that we have an A here and we have a 3A here, so maybe we can multiply both sides of this equation by three, and that will help us. So first, I'm gonna use the community property. I'm gonna switch the positions of these guys just so it better lines up with what I want to show, right? We have the B term first, A term second, so we can do that. Now let's multiply both sides by three. We get 9B plus 3A equals six, K, where K is still some integer. So we have our 3A, we're good to go, but now we have 9B, and we really just want B. So maybe we can split this up and write 9B as 8B plus B, right? That's the same thing as 9B, 8B plus B, and now we have the B that we want here, plus 3A, which equals 6K. So let's isolate this B plus 3A, and we can do that by subtracting 8b from both sides, right? Minus 8b. So what we're left with here is that b plus 3a equals 6k minus 8b. We can factor out a 2 here. Factor out a 2, and we're left with 3k minus 4b. 3 times an integer minus 4 times an integer. This is definitely an integer, which means that we can write b plus 3a is 2 times an integer, which is exactly what we wanted to show, that b plus 3a is 2 times an integer, okay? And that's really it. Therefore, b is related to a. Thus, b is related to to a. So again, you can do some scratch work. You can even work backwards. Start with this and manipulate this to see if you can get to this, right? As long as all of that is in your scratch work. At the end, once you write out the formal proof, you want to start from your assumption, from what you know, and you want to move toward what you want to show, which is that b plus 3a equals 2 times an integer. Therefore, b is related to a. Let's see if we can prove that this relation is transitive. So recall that transitive means that if A is related to B and B is related to C, then A is related to C. So how we can show this is again, the direct proof method. We're gonna assume this if statement is true. So suppose A is related to B and B is related to C. And what we want to show is that A is related to C. So what can we say from this assumption that A is related to B and B is related to C? Well then, I'll say, so A plus 3B is even. A plus 3B is even. And B plus 3C is even. 
And what does it mean? What is the definition of even? Well, both of these can be written as two times an integer, right? So a plus three b equals two, we'll use k for this one and we'll use l for this one, okay? So a plus three b equals two k and b plus three c equals two l where k and l are both integers. So now let's think about what we want to show. We want to show that a is related to c. In other words, that a plus 3c is even. So let's do that off to the side here again. Want to show that a is related to c. What exactly does this mean? Well, that means that a plus 3c is even. And by the definition of even, let's get even more precise, that a plus 3c equals three, uh, 2 times an integer. We've already used k, we've used l, so let's use m, 2 times m. Right, so this is what we want to show, and again, we can kind of use this, play around with it, but I really like to write this out and keep it in mind. Really important when we're first learning how to do proofs that we think about what we want to show so we can think about how we're going to get there. So what I notice here is that I think I can combine these two equations, right? I can add these two equations together because what I notice is that this one has an A, which I need here, and this one has a 3C, which I need here. So maybe if I combine these, right? Because if A plus 3B equals 2K and B plus 3C equals 2L, then what we have is that A plus 3B plus b plus 3c, and I should technically use parentheses here, although I'm going to end up not needing them, but I'll do it to emphasize what I'm doing here, right? If I add this plus this, then I should get this plus this, 2k plus 2l, 2k plus 2l, okay? So adding these two together, now we don't need the parentheses, obviously we can get rid of them, and we can combine some like terms, 3b plus b, we can write that as 4b, right? So this, I'll just draw an arrow, gives us a plus 4b plus 3c equals 2k plus 2l. Okay, so now we're so close. Really, all we need to do is subtract 4b from both sides. So another arrow here, right? This implies that a plus 3c equals 2k plus 2l minus 4b. I subtracted that from both sides. I just didn't write out the step. I think we can do this now. We can factor out a 2, right, from this entire right-hand side of the equation. So a plus 3c equals 2 times k plus l minus 2b. This whole thing is an integer. k is, l is, B is, right, whole thing is an integer. So what we've shown is that A plus 3C equals two times some integer. So in this case, this thing here is our M, right? Some integer, and therefore we've done, right? We're done, therefore, what? A is related to C because A plus 3C is two times an integer or even, right? So A is related to C. So this is the general structure for how we're going to prove that a relation is an equivalence relation. We're going to go through reflexive, symmetric, transitive, and the general structure of each of these proofs for each of these properties pretty much stays the same. We're always going to suppose that A is related to B and B is related to C, and we're always going to try to show that this means that A is related to C. It's just depending on how the relation is defined, the stuff that goes on in the middle may be a little bit different. But the general structure is the same. When we're starting with reflexive, we always let to there be an arbitrary element in the set the relation is defined on, and then we try to show that it's related to itself. And with reflexive, we always start that assuming A is related to B and trying to show that B is related to A. So maybe I'll do one more example and upload it on this channel, but hopefully this helps. If you have any comments, questions, anything, feedback, leave it below. Hit like, hit subscribe, but most importantly, keep flexing those brain muscles, and I'll see y'all later.